Hi, so this video is going to be a bit different from the regular uh, guides and tutorial videos I do. This one's going to be focusing on the biological reasons as to why humans age. But first off, I'd like to get this out of the way. There really is not a lot of research being done in this field when you compare it to other fields in biology. As a result from that, the best strategies for studying human aging generally come out of the SENS Foundation. It's one of the only organizations actually dedicated to studying human aging, at a biological level, I should add. So this video is going to be a very simple overview of the main uh, I guess main factors that play roles in this. So the first problem I want to talk about is uh, extracellular junk. The junk in this phrase, it refers to proteins. Biogerontologists call them junk once the proteins are modified in some way to where they no longer serve their intended purpose. They either become sticky or incredibly malformed. Basically their continued presence in the area impairs proper cell function in the environment. So the next one's very similar to the first one, uh, it's called intracellular junk, and it deals with proteins inside the cell. Damaged organelles, proteins, chemicals are continuously broken down and recycled by the lysosome. The lysosome essentially uses a bunch of templates or techniques to destroy these structures in the cell. The problem arises when a misshapen protein appears and the lysosome cannot break it down. So the proteins and malfunctioning organelles inside the cell just accumulate inside and cause problems as you can imagine. So throughout your life, your extracellular matrix, the, the proteins and such that bind cells together, are supposed to uh, arrange themselves in a certain way. This happens naturally as you mature into an adult. However, if you live for a certain amount of time, it starts to form connections with things that should have nothing to do with. So the proteins inside your extracellular matrix are responsible for things like the elasticity of your circulatory system and things like the transparency of the lens in your eye. Occasionally, and this is something that increases over time, are incidents where the sugar in your blood will form connections with uh, protein inside your extracellular matrix. These cross links act like handcuffs and they keep the proteins from separating like they used to. The next issue has to do with your body losing its proper cell count. Most of the cells in your body, when they die, are replaced with better versions of the specific cell that died. Over time, however, the stem cell pools that are responsible for this become damaged and as a result you lose a lot of your cells. This loss affects a large portion of your body, ranging from your brain function to your fine motor skills. Some cells in your body do have to die when they serve temporary roles or are damaged, like cells in your immune system for instance. If they stick around, they will only prolong inflammation when there is no problem present. If these cells stick around over time, they will get in the way. And that's another very important problem. So this last issue I'd like to cover is actually one of my favorites because of the Sense Foundation's uh, solution to this predicament. This one's called mitochondrial mutations. Mitochondria are organelles in our body that produce energy from sugars that we consume. One of the very interesting things about the mitochondria is that it has its own DNA separate from the nucleus. It's the only organelle that actually has this, besides plasmids, but that's, we're dealing with eukaryotes and humans in this case, not bacteria. So the mitochondria is very interesting. So energy production in the cell is generally a very sloppy process or a very dangerous process. The mitochondria has a very high produce of free radicals every time it churns out some energy for the cell. These free radicals like to react chemically with anything they can touch, which usually involves the mitochondria's DNA, which causes mutations. So any damage to the organelle making energy for the cell to stay alive is a very big problem. Usually the affected mitochondria react in a certain way to where they can still function, but they produce a very high amount of waste product that cell cannot break down, or more specifically the lysosome cannot break down. So long story short, the uh, biogerontologists have a very interesting solution to this. They actually want to transfer the mitochondria's genes, which are very few in number, mind you, into the nucleus of the cell as a kind of a backup. That way we don't even have to deal with the free radical problem. Uh, if the mitochondria gets damaged, its genes for energy production will still be produced or expressed inside the nucleus of the cell. I personally think this is just amazing. The idea that you can actually back up genes inside the nucleus, it's, it's just an astonishing idea. Anyways, this has just been a very simple, fast overview of the primary causes of human aging. I hope you learned something from this video. In the future, I will most likely be making more uh, specific videos regarding each individual problem, as a lot of detail was left out, so be on the look for that. And as always, thank you for watching.